Hey guys, aren't you guys enjoying this Devo? Well, today we are on day five and we are talking about faith and works. Um, so we're gonna start off in James 2, 14, and it says, what good is it, dear brother and sisters, if you say you have faith, but do not show it by your actions? Can that kind of faith save anyone? Suppose you see a brother or sister who has no food or clothing, and you say goodbye and have a good day, stay warm and eat well, but then you don't give them that give that person any food or clothing. What good does that do? So you see, faith by itself isn't enough unless it produces good deeds and it is and it is dead and useless. So when I was reading this and going over the Devo, I was kind of thinking back to sometimes of the words that I use to my kids. I always say actions speak louder than words. So if we are posting on Facebook that we're a Christian, we tell people we're a Christian, we tell people about the day we got baptized, we tell people about the day, um, maybe even when we ask Jesus in our heart, and we do all of those things, but then we live our life contradicting that by not showing people the light of Jesus, but we go out and we are doing the opposite of that. Sometimes like if you're posting on Facebook and you're saying, I'm a Christian, you talk to people about being a Christian and all of it is words. But then when people look at you, your actions speak something different. So in these scriptures, James never is saying that you earn salvation by being good or by doing good. He is saying that fruitless faith is pointless. He's all he's saying is that you have to have actions behind your words. If what we're posting on Facebook is saying Christians, like I said, and we are saying it, but then when we go out into public, we're the controversial type. We're the ones that don't want to follow the laws of the lands. We're the ones that are out there doing things that says, I'm not a Christian. That's what, that's what James is talking about. He's talking about, you have got to put actions behind your words. So right now, if, the, if like Bloom Church, our thing is for the Ozarks, but if in this time we were just sitting back and not doing anything for the Ozarks, but yet we continue saying, hey, we love you, we love God, we, we're for the Ozarks, but we're doing nothing. We have no, it's dead, our fruit is dead. But Bloom Church has been saying, we're for the Ozarks, we're handing out hope boxes. We are here for you. They're doing everything to help to make sure you're still feeling connected. And that is our whole thing, is that they're putting actions behind their words. So my challenge for you today is to stop and think, do you have faith with works or faith with no works? Is your Facebook telling, your Facebook and Instagram and your, all those, are they telling one status? but then you're living your life differently, that's just my challenge for you guys, to think about that. And if you're sitting there right now and you're like, man, I do, I live two different lives. One on Facebook says one thing and then what I do in life says something different. Then you know, I challenge you to ask God to help you. I ask you, challenge you, I challenge you to ask God to help you and to just be able to start living a life full of fruit. So I'm just gonna pray with you guys real fast. Dearly Father, God, I thank you so much, God, for uh, this Bible app, God, just that challenges us and, and shows us, God, that when what we speak has to have actions or it's dead. And that I just pray, God, that we would continue to be a church and people, God, that want to be the hands and feet of you, that we would not just say that we're gonna be for those art, but that we would continue to be the hands and feet. And that when we're at home, that we're not gonna just live this um, social media, this is how I am, I'm a Christian, but that when we would also, when we're out, we would start to be the light for you, that we would look at people through your eyes, that we would see people hurting, that we'll step out and wanna help that if we, if we see someone who's hungry, we're gonna feed them. If they're cold, we're gonna clothe them, that we would be the hands and feet for you. So I just thank you, God, right now um, for everything, and we just pray, God, that you would just be blessed. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, guys, see you next week.